welcome to maybe your first session of TDX. I'm really excited to be here. It's actually my first time at TDX as well. I uh, got a bright and early start this morning by falling up the escalator. So if you see me limping around the stage a little bit, normal things. I'm Ryan Bohm. I am a senior manager on the product marketing team for Emerging Technologies. And I am focused on mobility, including mobile publisher that we're about to go into, as well as blockchain. Lots of good stuff on that coming through later today. So be sure you stop by that keynote as well. You're going to see this a lot today, forward-looking statement. Make sure you make all of your purchasing decisions based on what's currently available in the market. Lawyers are always fun at getting in the way of a good presentation. So what we're going to talk about today, like I mentioned, is mobile publisher. And that is the quick and easy way to make a mobile app for your Lightning communities. We're going to go into the admin experience, so exactly how you do that using clicks, not code, and what your end users are going to see. And then I'll wrap it up and show you documentation and where you can go to actually get started for your existing communities. Another side you're going to see a few times, but this one's a little bit different to me. Everything is connected. IoT is everywhere. Your phones are out. This guy's got his phone right here. We spend about 3.4 hours every single day on our mobile devices, some more than others. A couple weeks ago, some of my best friends and I had a little bit of a challenge of who can give up their phone for the longest. And I lost by a landslide. If you ever look at the amount of time you spend on your phone, it's a horrible little feature in iOS. But you'll see that maybe it's around there. Mine is about five hours a day, which is embarrassing. But that said, mobility is so important. And it's often the first place that your customers are going to go. That said, they're demanding in engaging mobile user experiences. There are a lot of sites and apps that you've used, I'm sure, that you're like, eh, this isn't even worth my time. Like, I don't want to do it. It's an extension of your brand. It is very important to nail your mobile experience so that your brand looks good across all platforms. Rad here, for example, fictitious customer, um, but this is about tracking your runs. If we've got any runners here that track that way, it's a really good example of a way to engage your customers while on the road. Building apps is hard. Do we have any app developers in here who have delivered in the past? A few subtle, maybe, hand raises. You guys can vouch for the fact that app dev is so difficult. And it's often hard to iterate and keep it going. And within this twisty, turvy, windy process, a lot of initiatives just go unfulfilled. That backlog gets longer and longer, and you don't check things off of it. Introducing mobile publisher. So what this is, is it's a way to turn your Lightning communities into a gorgeous branded application with clicks and not code. So that experience of developing applications by hand and coding your butt off, it's a thing of the past for this. So low code building, it's very quick. It's using the objects that you're used to seeing in Salesforce and interacting with them in a way that's very familiar to you. And it's also very easy to publish. One of the biggest headaches that we've seen is around actually pushing apps to the, Apple's, like the App Store and Google Play Store. It's a lot of red tape, a lot of processes, things to fill out back and forth. And what Mobile Publisher does is it abstracts that from you so that Salesforce will deal with that, and then you can deal with your experiences. And automatic updates. So every single year, Salesforce releases three major updates a year. And that's going to be automatic. You will be getting all of those enhancements to security and everything that comes along with those updates without having to do anything. Again, you focus on your experience, and you focus on building the best brand for your customers. There are two different types of mobile publisher. The first is mobile publisher for the Salesforce application. We're all here for a reason. I'm sure you've seen the Salesforce application. It's essentially wrapping that application with your company's branding and distributing it that way. And then there's mobile publisher for Lightning communities. And that's what I'm going to focus on here. And that is taking your community and putting that on the web or on the phones. You can brand your apps, and you can have native features like persistent authentication. 
You log in one time, close the app, and you don't have to worry about it ever again. Sometimes that's a little bit easier said than done, but using this, you can actually have that automatically happen. Push notifications, you get them on apps all the time. Often difficult to develop, but that will come through as well. Open, opening links within the app. It sounds silly, but if you click on a link in an app and you go to the Safari browser, how often do you actually go back to the app? A lot of the statistics we're seeing is that once you exit out of the app, then you're in Facebook, then you're doing something else. It's keeping that experience in the same place, and there's a lot that supports this. It eliminates distraction, and it makes sure that you stay where you need to be. And then being able to access the native features of your phone, like camera, like geolocation, file access, pretty much anything that you need that's native to your phone, this will allow you to have access to. And anything that you do in your community, if you want to update copy, if you want to update images, things within your community are automatically pushed to the application without having to go to the App Store and download an update. Right now, my phone has about 140 updates on it. Not a fan of doing that. It takes a lot of time to update. But this will automatically do it for you in the background. So no worries there. And what are some of the key brand assets that are important to developing your application? And these are all things that are customizable for communities. And it's anything that you want that's up here. These are the nine that came to the top of my head. But everything is so fully customizable. And this application that you see on the left is what we're going to dive into in the demo. This is volunteer force. You may have heard about Salesforce's one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one model, where we are very into volunteering and giving back time. So we have an application completely dedicated to volunteer efforts and how we sign up to log hours and everything like that. And since we're so involved in that, we made that our demo as well. And so what is the advantage? And I've gone through a lot of this, but you can stay on top of the mobile wave. It's the fourth industrial revolution. You'll see that in the keynote in a couple hours. Just keeping ahead of the curve, making sure that you're in your customers' pockets at all the time. And the three, in, the three releases per year. Salesforce will take care of all the heavy lifting there. And you can deploy changes at any time. So how do you publish to app stores so easily? I said that Salesforce will abstract that and take away a lot of the mess from publishing to the App Store and to Google Play. So you focus on step one, creating your community. This is all around Lightning communities. I've mentioned it a few times, but that is a very important piece. In order to use Mobile Publisher, you have to have a Lightning community. And that is an add-on to Salesforce. Step two is you upload your logo. I recommend working with a designer or somebody that is really good at Photoshop, but make your logo whatever you want it to be. A lot of companies have one or go crazy there. Salesforce will assemble your app. So you do all the clicking, and then we do all of the development. And then you review the beta app version. You will see examples. We'll send you a beta app link with a code. You can download that into your phone. And I'll be showing you a beta version of Volunteer Force in a little bit. And then we will publish it to Google Play in the Apple App Store. There's a lot of back and forth sometimes with these. We know that sometimes Apple will push back and say, you need x, y, and z. And we'll take care of the communications and reach out to you if there's something needed from your end. So it's so much easier than actually having to dedicate resources to working with those. And then this is the setup screen. We're actually going to dive into this. But here are the two main types of mobile publisher applications you can build. The first one is a Salesforce app. You can wrap it and brand it. And then the second is Lightning Communities. Let's dive into what everyone wants to see is the demo. OK. So the first piece of the demo is going to be the admin experience. And see, I have more update. Oh. Here we go. OK. This is an interesting way to do it. OK. So here is Salesforce, as you know and love. And Mobile Publisher pops up right on the home screen. 
So you just quickly hit Get Started. And this pulls up all of the different applications that I currently have running. And we can scroll down. Here are some tests. But where we're going to focus right now is on Volunteer Force. So let's look at Android. There is an alert there saying, hey, you're missing something. Pay attention to us here. And so what are we missing? Why can't I actually publish this? So by hitting Continue, we are going to open up the, the page that has all of the metadata about the application that is the responsibility of the application owner to fill in. So our alert was, I didn't have all the information filled in. So it was very kind to give me that warning. And so what you can do here is name your app whatever you want. What do you want it to show up as in the Google Play Store? And then what is your short description? So when you actually click on it, how are your users told what they're downloading? And then it goes on and on of a lot of information that you can fill in here. And you can also have beta testers. One is shown up here, but you can have up to 10 beta testers that can get into this early edition of your application. You can get down as dirty as what color bars you want, what do you want your loading screens to look like. And here's where you're going to upload all of those pictures from your fancy graphic design company so that it shows up in the mobile app. And this just goes on and on. I'm not going to go too into detail. You kind of understand the gist of the clicks not code here. And then something that I want to call out is the app distribution types that we have here. We support any type of app distribution, managed public and managed private. So a lot of folks here are probably using MDM clients with their companies for secure mobile device and mobile application deployment. So we will work with your MDMs, Mobile Iron, AirWatch, whatever it may be, to deploy in your private app stores. Or we can also deploy in a public app store. What we can also do is that little line saying created by Salesforce. That's default. However, we can publish on behalf of whatever your company is, both public and private through your own app store. So whatever your deployment model of choice is, we can support that to get that out to the app stores. OK. And let us take a look at what it looks like for iOS. So iOS on Volunteer Force. We don't have any alerts here. So this one has already been filled in by the admin. And it's ready to actually install the package. But you can see here that the app information is ready to go. We had our graphic design company create this fancy little bear. And everything looks fantastic. And this is just what it looks like. And we also support VPP, so the volume purchase program for Apple for deploying to large enterprises. So you can mass deploy applications. So for the private distribution, you can automatically have your company get that application on their phone. All right. Is there any way that I can have this mirrored instead of looking? Sorry about that. I'd like to look at you instead of turn around. All right, I'll just do it. Sorry. That's OK. No worries. All right, we're just going to keep doing it this way. OK, so this is what it looks like. Here is our Lightning community itself. This is Volunteer Force, and this is the main page. And you can see a lot of what Salesforce actually is doing. And we're very active in the volunteer community in that one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one model that I have mentioned before. And so what does that look like in the Google Play Store? This is what we pushed to Google Play. You can download it. Here's the fun icon. This is all in production. So this is no smoke and mirrors presentation. This is all live, and everything I just showed you has actually been pushed through Lightning Communities. And let's take a quick look at what it looks like on the mobile device. This is actually my phone, so if we get alerts, just bear with me. 
uh, some gorgeous flowers that I just took pictures of in DC not too long ago. But here's a volunteer force application. Loading it up. And you can see I didn't have to log in. I logged into this yesterday. So that's that persistent authentication that I mentioned earlier, where I logged in via Salesforce this one time and never have to worry about it again unless I change a password. And so you can poke through here, see what's coming up. You can see what I have done, so my own volunteering, what I have upcoming. I did some meal packing with my old team. I have my own profile here. And you could do things like posting to chatter. And you can tag people and at mention on different events that you've done. And there's just a whole lot you can do. And it is literally your community that you have built on your phone. Very quick, very easy, and in that wrapper. All right. Sorry that I keep having to turn around, guys. This is. OK. And so going to the Trailblazer community, everything is very well documented, as you've come to expect with Salesforce. So feel free to go here, understand a little bit more about what you can do with Mobile Publisher, a little bit more about what you can do with Lightning communities and learn a little bit more about it on Trailhead. So we've got a ton of badges completed. We've probably got some rangers here out in the audience. Um, so visit trailhead.salesforce to learn a lot more. And I'm also going to be hanging out. Feel free to come over and ask me any questions you want. Um, and stick around to learn some more about mobile for the rest of TDX. Thanks.